Hi folks, let's talk about TE Tuner, what it does, how it works, and why I think if you're a musician, you should just really download this app. So let's open it up and have a look. We start with the Tuner page, and what we notice is different right from the bat, is it does away with this old needle on the dial readout of a lot of tunes. So we get this circular design, and it lights up the top half if we're sharp, it lights up the bottom half if we're flat. We also get this colour system, like a traffic light system. So we get green if we're in tune, orange if we're kind of not really in tune, and red if we're just way off the mark. It also tells you just how many cents flat or sharp you are. Now, if you don't know what a cent is, a hundred cents is one semitone. So if you are a hundred cents sharp, you've arrived at the next note. If you're 50 cents sharp, you are halfway between two notes. So you can kind of think of it like a, a percentage. So if you're 10 cents sharp, it's like you're 10% sharp of that note. But one thing that I really, really love about this app, and I know it's silly, is these little faces that you get when you hold a note. So check this out. You kind of get a smiley face and it grows and it get, gets bigger until it fills up the whole circle and then you get a whole kind of light up display like you're playing a video game or something. Anybody who's tried to practice long tones will know that in all honesty, they're a little bit boring. It can be a little bit dull, but they're so good for you. So what this app does is it just makes it a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting. And it really works on your breath control because you have to take a big breath to get it to expand to the edge of the circle and show you those extra little happy faces. I think it makes it a whole lot more fun to practice and it's one reason that I really, really love this app. All right, let's dive into a couple of the features. So if we go down to the bottom right, we see settings for wind, strings, and voice. And we also get an in-tune range. So all of this collectively sets the parameters for what the app calls in-tune. So at the moment, I've got it set to wind on wide, which gives us a five cents either way, uh, which is not too strict, but, but also gives you a little bit of play so you don't need to be bang on the note. If we go to strings, it widens that goes out to 10 cents either way. And if we go to voice, it's actually the widest setting. It'll give us the most leeway to call a note in tune. You can dial it all the way down to one cent flat or sharp. If you're a total Jedi Master musician or you're Jacob Collier. Now, this is really great. In the bottom left corner, we can tell it to play the same tone that it's hearing. So this is like... You know when you're at a singing lesson and the teacher will bang the note on the piano that you're meant to be singing so you can hear it and try and match it. That's what the app will do for you. It will hear the note and it will play that note bang on in tune and you've got to try and match it. You can also get it to play a major third back or a perfect fifth back. But you do need to wear headphones for this because if you don't have headphones, it will hear the note, it will play a major third on top of that, then it will hear that major third and play another major third on top of that. It'll hear that one and play another one on top of that. It'll keep compounding until a uh, black hole opens up and swallows the whole universe. So make sure you wear headphones if you're doing that. Right up the top, we can adjust equal or just temperament. If you don't know what that is, we don't have time to explain it in this video. So let's just move right along and we'll go into the second setting down here, which is sound. Now this one brings up a pitch wheel. You can change it to be a, uh, where are we, a pitch grid or a keyboard, but I really like the pitch wheel. It's like one of those old pitch pipes that you know acapella groups would use. So we just bang on a letter and we hear that tone. We can click on sustain and set up a drone. So it'll just keep playing that tone until we press it again. Now, if you don't like the sound of a tenor trombone, you can change it to almost any instrument. There are synths in there, there are woodwinds, there is brass, there is a whole, whole bunch of things. But really, tenor trombone is the best sounding instrument in the whole world. So I don't know why you just wouldn't leave it on that. Now, where a drone is really, really handy, let's say you're doing your scales practice or your interval practice, and rather than just staring at the tuner, you want to use your ear. So you can set yourself up a drone, practice your scales or your intervals, and use your ear first, and then when you need to check in, you've still got the tuner in the middle of the pitch wheel. So you can still see how flat or sharp you are compared to that drone. 
The next page is really, really handy because you've probably heard that it's not good practice to just stare at a tuner when you're playing. So what's really good is to play, looking away, and then come back and check. And where that's where analysis is really, really handy. So we can play a scale, we can double tap to stop, and we can go back and have a look at what we have done. And this part is a little bit brutal, to be honest, because it shows you just how much you waver. It's one thing for a teacher to tell you you're playing out of tune, but for a cold-hearted computer to show you just how out of tune you are, it can be a bit brutal, but again, it makes it a kind of fun game because you try to better it for the next one and better it for the next one, and you can really see your improvements in real time, which is really, really handy when you're practicing. All right, let's move one click over and we get to the metronome. And the metronome is the reason why this is my favorite tuner app, because it's also my favorite metronome app. It's just fantastic. All the usual options are here. We can set up a whole bunch of different time signatures. We've got all these different subdivisions within those time signatures. We can accent the first beat or not accent. We can have a light up display. Where are we? Visual flash on the beats. And then we can turn the volume right down and just look at the flash. We can have the flash just on the first beat. Or we can turn the flash all the way off. You can change the sound of the metronome, which I know sounds like a small thing, but for me, if a metronome has got an annoying click, I just will not use it. And that's one thing I love about this. I set it to blip. Blip, I find, is just really unobtrusive. Uh, there is another one in here called Drums 3, which is a decent kick drum, which is kind of nice to practice to it as well. But if you don't like the sound of your metronome, you just won't use it. So finding a sound that really works for you is important, and there's so many sounds to choose from in here. Now you may have noticed, if you're particularly cluey, that this metronome screen is the first screen where we don't have a tuner anymore. But they've thought about this too. So we set up the metronome, let's say 100 beats a minute at 4-4, and we go back over to the tuner page. To start the metronome, all you need to do is tap in the top right corner, and it comes straight up. If we need to change the settings, we just drag down, and we get a quick look menu with all of the options there for adjusting the metronome. To stop it, we just tap it again, and we're still on the tuner page. It's really, really user-friendly, and as I said at the start, what makes this a great app is that it's fun. It's an app that you'll actually want to use, and using a tuner and using a metronome, as we all know, makes you a better musician. It's something we should all do a little bit more, but in all honesty, it can be a little bit boring. So any app that makes that a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more exciting, in my book, is a no brain up. There we have it, TE Tuner. I think it's brilliant. I've only scratched the surface of the things that you can do with this app. The tuner and the metronome are just so adjustable and so customizable. Customizable? Customizable. Customizable. It is so customizable. And I think that if you're looking for something like this, it's an absolute no brainer. So check it out, TE Tuner. I love it. I use it every day. I hope it helps you out too. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. This channel is all about practicing the trombone and trying to get a little bit better each day. So if you would like to see more of this content, feel free to subscribe and we'll see you back here next week.